Now the Cats have been battling injuries all season long. They will get a boost into the starting lineup today. Maddie Shear is back, the senior from Florence, Kentucky. And we are underway in the Yum Center. A great crowd, great atmosphere. And the opening tap controlled by the Cardinals. And stepping out of bounds along the far side. An early turnover. And boy, you love an atmosphere like this in this state. Basketball is king. And it certainly feels that way today as the Cats will get their first possession. So great to see Maddie Shear back on the floor. Have, after coming back from concussion protocol, you know, she had dealt with concussions, headaches throughout her career, and is just the leader Kentucky needs on the floor. Been out since late November. Cats got to go. Shot clock under five. Miles has it. And the runner with the bounce. A good possession to start things off for Kentucky. They were able to get Louisville to go most of the shot clock, and they scored in the paint. Taylor Jefferson, Ricards, Harris, and Cochran, the starting five for head coach Jeff Walls today. Cardinals go to work inside, and a good look, and a good finish by Nyla Harris. Bound to have some pace, but it's got to have a lot of discipline as well. As you see Shear back in the lineup, as you mentioned, Roy. And Petty has been so big. Miles, the vocal leader for this Kentucky club. And the runner, no good. The rebound. She looks so comfortable and transitioning from James Madison to the ACC here at Louisville. Seeing her take on that championship last year, and we got just a great sense of who she is. <laughs> yeah, I, I made that so. graphic right there. I made the graphic. Like Roy's it. definition of play: grit with the exclamation <laughs> point. Well done. <laughs> You don't want to say, you know, the, the new age is not for the better, but in some respects when it comes to leadership as the runner put up and in by Emma King, that's just something I think a lot of veteran coaches and teams need a little bit more of. Yeah, it's not easy to speak up and speak out. I mean, the leadership position sounds great until things get uncomfortable. And you got to call players out. But Nina Ricards is a player who's not afraid to do that. Six to four in the early going. Kentucky went through a bit of a stretch at the end of November. A five-game losing streak. You mentioned the injuries. How about a Euro step and a strong finish for Petty? Yeah, pretty for Petty. Nice natural footwork inside, and, and that's a part of you can see being in the gym, getting those reps. That was so natural. And a very fluid indeed, Cochran. Tonight, Tyler on the move. An open look. That's a three for Shear. Not this time. Cochran takes on two. And a blocking foul call. Free throws coming for 44 at red. Oh, big improvements. Did you see coming, closing in on a thousand points for her career? Showed you right out of the gate. Cardinals have won each of the last six. That's what we call bragging rights. And Kentucky trying to bounce back from early season injuries. A strange loss, an unusual loss for Austin P. Off the turnover. Here's Cochran. Wheeling and dealing. <laughs> she said, Coach, put me a point. What? It was a textbook offensive possession. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets a touch and a wide open layup. Nine to six, and now here comes Louisville again. And here, great job of reversing the basketball, which leads to an incredible increase in field goal percentage. We'll tell you more about that, but you know, if it's not available on the fast break, they're able to move the ball around. Point shooters in the country, Sydney Taylor. UMass transfer originally from Long Island, New York. And the cards with their largest lead, quarter three. Coach Elsie talked about her basketball IQ. Look, you see over there pointing, talking on defense, head on a swivel. She's direct in the back line. Cat show is zone for the first time. Outside jumper, no. It pops back out to Ricards. And now stolen by Shear. One on two. Maddie Shear, you're up. Off glass and in. <laughs> She saw Petty and said, okay, I'll give me one, too. Great finish on the open floor. 
Entertaining start here with five in her first start back in quite some time. Well, you know Coach Elsey's not going to use injuries as, as an excuse when you lose a couple of games unexpectedly, a five-game skid, and an offensive foul. Strategy was to get those paint points. Right now they're 8-4 to four over Louisville. And again, go back to Louisville. When they show that basketball and they assist, they are four assists for four field goals made. And it's going to be a walk for Petty. That's right. Not, not, just, not just a Euro. East on Bolo <laughs> Trans has Atlantic. checked in for the first time. Something along those lines. Miles thought about it. Top of the key. That's another three. No. And Nyla Harris has been active in the early going. Off the row miss. Approaching two to go in our first quarter. Entertaining start here. The KFC Yum Center. And an open look for three. That's Sydney Taylor. She's so quick to pull up. And you have to have so much respect for her three, and you can't give her an inch. Cards two of three from downtown. Under two to play. The lead back to four. Petty goes to work on the block. Pump fake between two defenders. No. It'll start again in the half court. Off the fake. Taylor Ooh. again. Step right. Let me go left pull up. Nice rhythm three. And Louisville. And three of four from deep in the proverbial zone. Right? We'll see now. Will he check? If you're Jeff Walsh, you don't mind a shot like that, right? You're three for three. Go ahead and try another one. Let's see how hot you really are from downtown. Look. And here comes... Ken you mentioned, should Taylor shoot that shot if you're Jeff Walls? I think if you don't shoot it, you're probably going to get taken out. That's how I feel. Right. Jeff Walls looking at that shot. He's like, no, no, no. Inside and Taylor off the mark. Shear takes it one on three. The last bucket by Shear, I was going to say, stopped the two and a half minute scoring drought for the Wildcats. Shear again, and Kentucky right back in it. And don't look now, but Maddie Shear in double figures already. Boy, Wildcat fans are so grateful to have Shear back in the lineup. What a difference she's making. Cards got a hoist one. Taylor, no, and a two-point lead for number 18, Louisville. Good game brewing back inside the Yum Center. Ten minutes in. Requires for Roy Philpott, number 18, Louisville, leading Kentucky. ACC-SEC rivalry by just two. And the start of our second quarter. Louisville's defense bothered Big Blue early. Not as much at the end of that quarter. Maddie Shearer scored the last 10 points for Kentucky until that bucket by Tyler. How about Kentucky coming right out of that lineup, getting back to getting into the paint to tie this game up. And it is just, it's match for match. These players taking so much pride in this game. I mean, knowing what it represents for, for their hometown fans and people who, you know, as Coach Elsie described it, have been following them their whole careers. And I'm seeing them in blue and in red. Taylor from 15, no. Tapped out. And the catch, Miles has it. That's Brooklyn Miles, but a turnover. <laughs> Off the bounce is Love. Six points per game this year for 24 in red. Love, cards by two. Big story so far, the play of Sidney Taylor with three shots made from downtown. And then Maddie Shear on the other side. That's a three. And the Cats grab the lead. Now Tyler with two big buckets. Starting off Kentucky's offense here in the second quarter. Both teams shooting well from three. Knocking down a few. Well, with what we've seen from Kentucky so far, doesn't look like a 4-16, and six team, a team that went through a five-game <laughs> losing streak at the end of November. Maddie Shearback obviously makes a very big difference. Rowe yeah. gaining health and strength makes oh. a big difference. And then Petty. And yeah, I'd say Kentucky, you know, is is giving it all they have with the gas, especially having, you know, their key players back. It's a tough arena to play. And you and I have been to the home center many a times. That's what you get a good dose of when you come to the young. Off the miss by Curry. 
Cats unable to capitalize. Here's another three. Mariah Russell. Turnover leads to a fast break three. Don't clip that one. That's a good one. It was Marissa Russell with the shot. And Russell with her first points. Betty double team wide open inside. Off the puck bank in a block. Ended up a uh, successful defensive possession for Louisville. Yeah, that surprised me as well, given how efficient she's been the shot selection so far today. Back in the turnaround, she'll attack. And off the pump they connects. Well, she's been great in this game. Hasn't filled up the stat sheet a ton, but when she gets the ball, she's fluid with it. You can trust her. She's got great hands. And able to get Petty off the floor there with a good pump fake. Cochran from Columbus, Georgia, now a senior. Carver High School. Oh, Petty weaving her way through traffic against Cochran forces. Let's see if Louisville slows things up here, Roy. And tries to hit again that second and third side. Or inside out. Good post up by Cochran. Again, you have to understand not only how to play defense, you've been alum, you can get that player to player conversation in that respect. I mean, how many times have we seen in basketball and college basketball, men or women, the teams mm -hmm. that have the experience, especially in the backcourt, those experienced guards that don't lose their cool when the game is on the line, the crowd starts yelling, and you can yeah. feel that adversity setting in. The teams that have the experience are the teams that survive in advance. Petty, a collision, no foul. I think, as you mentioned, being really affected by the Kentucky defense. They just need to keep moving. There's a lot of standing and passing going on that I'm seeing from the cards. Unless Cochran gets a touch, he does there on the offensive glass. And an offensive foul. Now Walker providing that off the bench here. That's the 90 seconds remain in our first half. Kentucky by one, 27-26. Walker works it outside in sheer trap. Extremely valuable going into halftime. Want to try to get those successful feelings and, and that momentum going into the locker room. But, Roy, eventually you'd have to think that fatigue at some point is going to set in as hard and as fast as this game's going. Great position and pass by. Yeah, and, and I've seen her open uh, and not yet gotten the basketball a couple of times. So, if the cards, I think if they look for her more, their field goal percentage is going to go up. Sheer off the screen, and an open three for Russell, no. The runner off glass and a chance for three. Nina Ricards getting the job done. I believe they're going to wave this one off. They are. It is an offensive foul. You see Ricard is trying to almost just kind of avoid that contact. And the original indication by Talisa Green near side, veteran official was score the bucket and a foul, and then apparently it got changed to an offensive call, so the Cats get it back. And the legal guarding position, you know, when it comes to those block charge calls, officials are looking for two feet on the floor, their torso facing the opponent. The women's game is just rising every single day. Uh, but that would really make a big difference if, if players were to, to really buy into that. Sydney Taylor, no. The offensive glass, the putback, yes. Kiki Jefferson now with four. There she is. We were waiting for Kiki Jefferson to start busting out this game. And you got a sense of just her energy and strength down there in the post. Former Sunbelt Player of the Year, James Madison. Dukes won the Sun Belt Conference last year. Good look inside. Shear up and in. No English on that as well. Good cut by Shear in Kentucky to find. You know, ways to stretch a little defense. Not easy. Not a nice interior pass. Nyla Harris down low. 32-29. Shear dumps it off to Petty. Outside, there's a three. Emma King. Petty gets a breather after picking up her third personal foul. Walker checks in. And an offensive foul. And Sydney Taylor, does she have that short, short jump shot? Wild 
runner off the mark by Tyler. And up and in by the cards, that was Jefferson. So four points so far in the third quarter for Kiki Jefferson. Six now in the game. And Louisville on top by two. You grab that. You, you saw Kiki Jefferson take that ball coast to coast. But the answer from deep for the cards to take the lead. And Kiki Jefferson's got to get involved in this game. And the three-pointer by Shear, and now a steal. Too strong. Well, I agree with your assessment. I thought that was a charge. Wildcats turn it over, trying to inbound it just seconds later. So perhaps all is well. Game's starting to get a bit more physical. One more note on NC State. Packer ranked number three in the latest AP Top 25. Trying to give her team the lead right back. Tied at 35. They're playing in and look at how the college football playoff selection committee's decision on everything that happened last week about this time. Cardinals back in front. 36-35. And ahead. Walker was wide open. Cardinals back to work. Here's Curry. Off the pick and roll. High off the glass. No. And Rowe controls the rebound. Boy, Cochran has... And just been all over the floor tonight. Talked about the environment, the atmosphere. Kentucky back in the zone. And a jumper from 50. Russell with the mid range. The lead back down to one. And here's the steal. Nyla Harris goes to go. Sheer behind the back, weaving her way through traffic. Will set up Miles from deep. Harris triple team, the spin, and she will shoot too. Check out this picture. I mean, this is vintage, classic imagery right now with Coach Elsie <laughs> and Jeff Walls, is it not? Oh, you love to see it. Look, these these are such great memories when you think back to, you know, those, those 90s AAU tournaments. It's It was all about trying to just be as, as goofy as you can because, as Jeff Walls said, you know, these players were all getting better on their own, right? Hunting down open gyms and, and training themselves so that by the time they showed up, you know, they, they were ready to win state championships and, and national championships in the AAU circuits. How much fun You know, days? it's from the 90s when you see the size of the shorts and the shirts there, right? I mean, <laughs> the shorts go down below the knee, <laughs> and the shirts are so baggy, it's kind of hard to figure out, you know, really what, what what's happening, and that's just how we wore things back how then. That's what we did, right? Yeah, no, no self-respecting basketball player would be seen with shorts above their knees at that time. Come on. This is Cochran on the putback. And do it again. The, the cards have been big on the board today as well. They've got 32. They doubled up on the Wildcats. Sheer comes up short from distance. Cardinals with momentum. Four on one. Away. Inside of the easy bucket for Nyla Harris. And Louisville opens up a five-point lead. Well, you get the sense... Cats need a bucket in the worst way here to try to stop this 8 nothing run in almost three minutes since they've scored. And Cheer will head to the first season ago, well over 90%. Now coming up, hosting the Catamounts of Vermont in Northeastern at Virginia as we head to the Commonwealth. Cheer with 16. The 90 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Cochran with the skip pass. That's a three. That rhythm looking mighty fine for the Louisville Cardinals right now. Let's see if the Wildcats have enough energy to respond here. They got to deal with that pressure first. And the shorter that they make their offensive possessions, Louisville's like, yeah, we like that. Kentucky's got to get back to passing, Roy. Tyler missed the three, and it was a quick trigger. Cards in the midst of an 11 to 1 run to seize control. This ties their largest lead of the game. Cochran wants to increase that advantage. Get that pivot put down. Shot block at three. And finally tracked down by Shear, and she was fouled. It's one of three at the stripe today. Probably because you've been talking about how, how good of a free throw shooter she is, would be my guess. 
That's exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> For the people that don't believe in the announcer jinx, I've got 10 years of evidence just personally. <laughs> Exactly. That will hush all of you up. <laughs> we also notice Shear, you know, sometimes players, when they're not feeling their hairstyle, they will change it mid game. Skylar Diggins okay. used to do that. Shear has changed it. And you see, you wonder if that's perhaps just something to do with the game, the superstition. Or... That's for a cut and one opportunity for Louisville. A lot of love inside the paint today for the park. Kentucky's defense trying to swarm up, get out there in the lanes, get the deflection. See you backdoor cut. He ended up getting a nine-point lead here. Shot clock is off. You gotta imagine Matty Shear's gonna get a touch soon. Petty back on the floor with the three personals. Miles the crossover. King thought about it. Good bounce pass to Petty. And she's got a chance for three. Asia Petty with 10 points, six rebounds, and three fouls. Something to watch coming up in our fourth quarter. Give her 11, and the lead sliced down to six. Shot clock off. Here comes one more heave at the hole. And it was close. close. But the lead remains at six for number 18, Louisville. A whole lot of love. A chance for three at the end of the quarter. 24 in red. You know, you. I'm going to have to kick you out of here because you're just too good and you're not buying into the program. So she said after a few tough conversations, you know, woman to woman, uh, Petty really took that to heart and has improved her mind, her body. She had you know, PRs and all of her strength and conditioning records this year. She watches film. You know, you see it in the way she plays. Here's Rowe with five to shoot. Tried to dish it to King. Momentum after that 11 to one run by Louisville at the end of the third quarter. Curry, no. Petty has the rebound stolen away by Love. Well, Love's had two big plays here just in the last couple minutes. That in one. Let's see if she's got a third one. Yes, she does. The lead back to nine. Love has eight. And the Cardinals now with six three-pointers. Petty double-teamed up and in. Petty, it's, it's all the work that she's doing beforehand, boy, that, to get in that position. That's where the, the strength records and all that, that's where they make sense. Post players got to do all that work, their legs are lower half, get position, and they call for the ball. Well, big conversation had between Petty and Coach Elsie about changing the diet. You mentioned the routine. Yeah. The film study, all the different Petty getting the touch and letting her to go work one on one is not going to get it done. For Kentucky, want to go inside, but not force it if she shoots, and that's going to be, it looks like, an offensive foul on Petty. And that's her fourth. So, decision time for Kyra Elsie. The bench your leading score here for at least a couple of minutes, buy some time, and try to keep this deficit right where it is and maybe try to whittle a point or two away before you bring Petty back on the court. Yeah, and Janae Walker is giving you some quality minutes, two for two. She's got the size at least to, to be a bother when she extends out and tries to guard, guard the cards up top as well. And that's and Harris. That's physical. Yes. Harris. Louisville with its largest lead. Love all smiles, nearly forced another turnover. Was Harris, and and that's where Louisville's getting that great position, where Kentucky would miss Petty, you know, for that help side to be a bother, try to block that shot. And Harris getting all the way into the basket. The ball touched every inch of the rim off the hands of Tyler. Didn't drop. Curry, no love, yes. The lead at 13. Love came in averaging just over six points per game. Walker continues to give good minutes off the bench. Against the zone, we certainly do feel momentum clearly on Louisville's side. And Harris was fair. Top five in terms of makes and that percentage. Robust 79. Love somehow saved it. 
And then finally corralled by Petty. No second chance points a big difference in this game as well. Cardinals have 11. Kentucky so far, Brooke, with zero. Nine. Yeah, that surprises me. That definitely surprises me, especially when you have rebound as good as, as Petty. And how she pursues, but Kentucky is just having a, a tough time. Look at how locked down the paint is. The card's all in there. Here to Petty, up and in, a strong move to lead back to 10. All right, that's where the poise comes in. Didn't panic, and Maddie Shear and uh, Asia Petty both playing again with four fouls. Skip pass, Curry, driving up and under. And check that. That was love again. <laughs> more love, just more love. Bring it on. That's what the world needs. Trailing by 12, still with time. And that's a three and a... 12 defended by Miles. Instead, it's a deep three. Cardinals get it back in a fresh 20. Boy, the Cardinals Taylor. have 15 offensive rebounds today. That's crazy. Compared to just two for UK, yeah. nearly a steal. And let's see what the foul call is. Yeah, Cantor was right there uh, to make the call. Lead at nine, 2.07 to go. Tests need a basket here. Can they get one? Petty off the fingertips. Rowe comes up with it, 10 to shoot. Wide open for three. Hot about the Wildcats defense holding the Cardinals scoreless these last two minutes and 45 seconds. Almost three minutes now. It's 13,000 in the Yum Center starting to get a little restless. Mid range is there. Liv Cochran. Sure. The answer. I mean, these players are putting it all out on the line. Just giving everything they got. Fuck Shear, the game she's had. Coming back from a concussion protocol to drop 22. Wildcats need to stop here. Shot clock down to 14. No problem. Sydney Taylor. Taylor with 11. Petty inside. And a chance for three. I mean, Louisville's such a good free throw shooting team. I, I don't that I want to put them on. Nationally. Oh, and a hard Ooh. foul is going to put Ooh. Kiki. And she takes her time. There is no quick trigger at the free throw stripe. And yep, taking her time. Cannot be rushed. Miles picked up. That's be a long she dragged that pivot foot. That's going to be a traveling. Cards gets it inbounds to Jefferson, and again she's fouled. And has been she's such a good player at James Madison. So to see her make the adjustment, it's typically efficient as they have been. One of two at the line, and tapped out of bounds. Last touch by Kentucky. They'll take it. Yeah, look like perhaps the left hand of Taylor was the last to hit it. Nobody touches it there. You know, I'm impressed both of us came up with that independently. <laughs> uh, yeah, we In an overturned call situation where we're, <laughs> you know, not calling the game on site. Not easy True. to do. True. Here's a steal by Love. Off to the races for 24 in red. Yes. Well, what a game she's had. Yeah, hitting their last three shots. And Kentucky's actually hit their last four shots as well. But, you know, a few costly turnovers late for Kentucky. And Louisville's defense shining bright. We talked for a moment about NC State being ranked number three in the land. How impressive that team has looked in terms of consistency. You think about what North Carolina ranks Duke is young but very athletic in the backcourt. These Louisville Cardinals are going to be ranked all season long. Florida State's had some big wins in non-conference play. And the ACC promises to be as tough as ever mm -hmm. when it comes to women's hoops. Step back.
for Shear. Almost banked it in. Tracked down by King, but she stepped out of bounds. And just 3.6 seconds remaining. The battle for the Bluegrass will go to the Cardinals of Louisville. 73-61 the final. Seven in a row for Jeff Walls and his team. Well, congratulations to the Cardinals. They got it done against a very feisty Kentucky team that came ready. As Coach Elsie said, ready to get bowed up, but the series history has belonged to the Louisville Cardinals.